Uh, this poem doesn't have a title. Um, it goes out to some people. Their names are Allie Neal, Dan Ritter, and Matt. <laughs> Do you remember Matthew, Mom and Dad? How hard it snowed when they chose each other. How Mom had to walk a Dad off after that much wine. How Dad called me fat but confident. How Mom puked in the sink and how I had to walk you home. Mom left for Mexico last week. Maybe she'll finally land in a, the place we both crash landed, all gray and green and made of cobblestone, coming up on three years ago. Maybe she'll land there in a stable, overflowing with horses, like the one Mom and Dad took us to the night we chased the supermoon in Mom's car with the Massachusetts plates, and how we feasted on Cheez-Its and red wine in the thinnest joint known to man, and how the moon was so close and so bright we could read and write poetry beneath it, and we did the night mom and dad made us their children. I don't know why I snapped my head back so far when dad left. He was always more wizard than dad, the way you are more Matthew than writer, the way mom's more chef than writer, the way I'm more witch than writer, the way dad's more brother than writer than dad. I believe he still loves her in the way I still believe that Jesus lived right, while not so much knowing if he's the son of God, like how I believe one day you'll say you're sorry and you miss me. Do you remember, Matthew, when I told you you shouldn't do something just because you're good at it? We all still know you fashioned me out of propane tanks and matchboxes and propped me up behind a microphone, you mouthpiece for all things slippery. I wasn't born the way you think, from rocket fuel, from oil rainbows on blacktop. Mom said it was me you tried gluing to paper even though we tried to raise you better. The smoke you saw wasn't from gasoline. The smoke wasn't even smoke. I just tell people it is. I should have been there the day you were born and maybe you have not yet been born so maybe I shouldn't have tried to raise you to be as hard as I was five years ago. And anyway, mom said you and me had to raise each other when we were ready. She was right when she said that one day I'd love the light and one day I'd be softer and surrender my body. I'm still waiting. I should have been there to touch your belly all raw and warm, should have woken you up at least once in the four months you spent asleep at our uncle's table. He knows the good word better than mom and dad and better than me and you, and I've never seen him beat anyone with it until you started sleeping. Do you remember how he only made us pray twice every four months? Two years later, are you rested, Matthew? All I wanted was to fight you so you could learn how to fight you, so you could fight me and we could fight fair. Do you remember, Matthew, how you refused to fight? Thank you.